Lather and soap is created through a combination of ingredients and the interaction of soap with water. When you use your soap, the fatty acids like coconut oil, castor, or palm oil mix with water, breaking the surface tension and trapping air, and that's what we call lather. So watch how vinegar, pumpkin, honey, and sugar change the lather of the soap. First up is my vinegar soap, and this was made with rose clay and it's fragrance with cactus flower. I had an extra soap batter, which I made into a flower. How cute is that? And I'm using that to do the lather test rather than the loaf bar. However, they are the same bar, same oil, so they would lather exactly the same. This right here is about three weeks after the soap bar was made, so it hasn't fully cured. And as you can see, it is giving a foamy lather. And vinegar is really good in soap because it is going to balance your pH. It's going to give that bubbly lather once it's really agitated. You see those bubbles coming through. I just needed some agitation, but it's also going to soften the water. It kind of acts as a natural water softener, reducing soap scum and helping the soap foam up better in hard water conditions. It's a keeper. I like it. Next up is my pumpkin puree soap. This is scented with patchouli essential oil and I think it came out really nice. So with the pumpkin puree, it's going to be rich in sugars because there's already sugar that's naturally in pumpkin puree and that's going to increase lather and make the soap foamier and give it kind of like this luxurious feel. And you see how the bubbles came real quick with this one after you agitated it, putting it in the water. You get some bubbles there. It's very good and nourishing for the skin. Pumpkin puree adds extra moisture and nourishment to the skin, which can improve the overall feel of the soap and enhance its texture. Also, the texture of pumpkin puree is going to provide a gentle exfoliation, helping to cleanse the skin while still producing a good amount of lather. I think this one's a keeper as well. And you see all those bubbles there, y'all? It's very, very nice. Next up is good old fashioned honey. Honey will never fail you. I'm telling you, it's a little difficult to work with when you first start, but once you do, listen, honey should be in all soap bars. It really does increase bubbles. It's rich in natural sugars, which is going to boost the lather by attracting moisture. It's also a humectant, so it's going to draw that moisture into your skin, which can enhance the soap's lathering ability while keeping your skin extra hydrated and clean. It's also going to give you this softer soap feel i'm telling you honey is like the number one like game changer and look at that lather i am not surprised at all i have a few soap bars that i use honey in and honey never disappoints it's sweet it's sweet for your mouth and it's sweet for your skin Next up is good old plain sugar, just granulated sugar, nothing special. And sugar actually is very, very special when you add it to the soap bar. Sugar enhances the formation of larger, fluffier bubbles, creating a richer and more luxurious lather. And you see how quickly it lathered up like honey is the bomb.com, but sugar, sugar. Sugar is doing sugar's thing. It's also a humectant, just like the honey, and it's going to improve the soap texture because adding sugar increases its smoothness, giving the lather a silkier feel and making it feel more enjoyable to use on the skin. Sugar is one of my new favorite ingredients that I am going to be adding to my soap bars. Just the plain sugar, not purees or items with sugar, but just going straight for the sugar, straight for the honey and straight for the sugar. Neither one of those will disappoint you. I also wanted to show you guys how the soap bars lather with lathering agents. So I have a loofah, I have this more of a smoother, silkier soap saver bag. Then I have the exfoliating soap saver bag. And then I have just a good old fashioned washcloth. So I'm going to show you how these soap bars lather in these different things. First, we're going to start with the loofah. And this is the honey bar, but really with the loofah, the loofah is going to lather whatever you put on it because that's just what the loofah does. So here is the honey lather of it. So after I finish with this honey, I'm going to get all that lather out so I can use another soap bar, which will be the puree, the pumpkin puree soap bar. Just so you can see that the loofah be loofah and like that's not even a word, but you know what I mean? Like it creates lather with no 
it doesn't matter which bar it has, it is going to do its things. So next up is the soap saver bag and I am going to use the sugar soap bar to put in there just a small bar to show y'all like this sugar plus this soap saver bag is going to give you maximized lather to the fullest and look at how quickly it came it is very nice and that's just a very small like sample size bar so I'm telling y'all add sugar sugar Listen, I thought honey was great. I thought honey was sweet. Nothing sweeter than sugar. Next up is the exfoliating soap saver bag. And this one is really nice. I love this little soap saver bag because it keeps all your little small pieces of soap. Don't throw those soap, piece, soap pieces away. Keep them and put them in the soap saver bag. You can use the soap saver bag to apply directly to your skin or you can use it with a washcloth. But you see that lather that it produces. It is very, very nice to add and I think it's just naturally a game changer just simply because you can add all your little small soap bars to it and get you a real nice lather out of it. And lastly is the good old fashioned washcloth. Now, you know, the washcloth go do its thing. It's going to wash like it does. So I am going to use my ACV vinegar soap in this one just to um, show you how it's going to lather with the washcloth. Now, because it is a washcloth, it is effective. It's going to get the job done. It may take just a little bit longer to get that lather going to agitate it, but it's going to do what it do. And as you can see, it is doing that. It is giving that nice lather. So you can get it done with the washcloth as well. Please comment below if there are other things or other additives that you add to your soap to boost the lather or other agents that you use to create lather. And for now, black hands are out. Bye bye, guys.